here for the first half of the weekend. That's coming up. Yvonne. All right. New on midday, a man is arrested in connection to a murder that happened Monday in Northeast Austin. Gamal Webb has been arrested and is in the Travis County Jail. Police were called around 10 Monday night to a group home on Dean Avenue. Officers found a man unresponsive. Ben Thompson Jr. was pronounced dead. By the way, this is Austin's sixth murder this year. The Lake Travis Fire Department kept busy overnight with not one but two house fires. Now other departments joined in to help out on those fires. Thankfully no one was hurt. KVU's Tina Shively, she's been at that fire on Graveyard Point in western Travis County all morning long. She joins us now with the very latest on both blazes. Tina. Good morning. Now, more than six hours after the fire started here, you see the crews are still on the scene, putting out hot spots this morning. You can see all the smoke still rising. This home was on stilts. You can see not a lot left after the home burned early, early this morning. Above those red beams, there is where the home once stood. The firefighters first arrived about 4:30 and found the three people who live inside safe. Smoke detectors alerted them to that fire. The firefighters did have to rescue a dog. The Oak Hill Fire Department also responded here. Now, this neighborhood has a limited water supply. The closest fire hydrant is 2,000 feet away. So that forced firefighters to turn up the hydrant's pressure and lay down 2,000 feet of hose to help get water down to the house. Fire engines do carry a minimum of 500 gallons of water on the truck themselves, so they showed up with about 2,000 gallons. But in this kind of fire, that goes very quickly in a matter of minutes. Now, the call for the second fire at this Steiner Ranch home came just two minutes after this one. The Austin Fire Department helped put that fire out. Now, we're told a sprinkler system was installed but not hooked up because the house was under construction, just being built, and therefore also no one was inside. The detached garage was badly damaged by fire, and I'm told there is some damage to the home. Now, fire investigators are still trying to figure out just exactly how both fires started and the dollar amounts of just how much damage those fires did. Reporting live in Western Travis County, Tina Shively, KVU News Midday. Wet, slick streets may have contributed to a death.